Okay then guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, if you want to grab our course, Life Setup, Marathon Mindset, Framing, Body Language, How to Become a Better Looking Man, um, I'm going through absolutely everything, the link is below. Uh, if you want to grab our supplement, free shipping worldwide now, link below. Uh, if you want to watch a few shows on our stream platform, link is below. Um, so this video is very interesting. So I want to explain how body language has changed, which is huge for this channel because this is how this channel really began. The first kind of few videos that went viral for me, which is funny because they don't actually exist on the channel anymore. There were like two or three really big ones that had like a million views when I first started out. That was like James Bond body language analysis. I've still got them. I remade them, but the originals had like a million views, if not more. This was like eight years ago. Um, and I just want to bring your attention to this picture here that I went back to look for. I don't even think this was the video I watched, okay? I think the video I watched might have been removed from YouTube, or you can't... Maybe the account got deleted, or you can't go back too far. No, that's not true, because you can watch the first ever video, can't you? Um, maybe they just don't show you in the search results, you know, those sort of videos. But the show was called Going Ape... And there were there were about five or six episodes. I think I think this is it. But the one that I watched, I must have been about 21, 22 years old. So it would be older than eight years. But to say that this is on here, this was uploaded eight years ago, is pretty crazy, right? Because when we're talking about body language, we're talking about when I first got into this industry, when I was researching all of this, I wasn't making videos, whatever. I was getting into it myself as like a consumer. I was reading blogs, I was reading um, Sean Russell's blog, Men Improvement. Uh, I would type in the difference between alpha males and beta males, how do I become a better man and stuff like that. I probably started doing that about, truth be told, I think about 20, 21 years old. Uh, I went through my first breakup and I was like, I really need to sort my life out, I really need to improve. Um, so for me, that's when I kind of found it. Uh, and you think to yourself, that was what, no, 10 years ago? Roughly 10 years ago? So I remember I had a factory job, and I sat in the car park, and I was watching the alpha male videos, the body language videos, which is how I got into body language. I did a course, and I was like, I'm going to start making videos on this. I'm going to start doing talks on this. I'm going to go into schools and stuff, uh, and offices, and I'm going to show them how to do better body language, how to do good body language at 18, 19, when you're going for your first job, instead of being that little kid who can't hold eye contact, you know? Um, so the point that I'm making is everything eventually has its sell-by date. And, you know, as, as, as great as something can be, as cool as something can be, as much as something can work and get results, there will come a time where it becomes oversaturated the wrong people get a hold of it, and then it borders over into cringe, not cool, whatever. Facebook is a great example. Facebook in the early days was exclusive. It was uni students. It was, I remember my sister coming back from university and talking about it, and it was just like, wow, what is this? You can tag friends? Like, this is incredible. And now it's like everybody's 50, 60-year-old mum looking at baby pictures. All right, it's like things change, and now Facebook's a bit cringe. Like nobody really goes on there, nobody talks about it. It's kind of a mock platform, you know. It's just something you use to sign into things. <clears throat> Everything has its sell by date. You know, you watch movies that you used to think were cool. I I saw. I think it, it's. Is it the? It might be the Dark Knight. I was what I think I was watching the Dark Knight, and he came into his own party. He got off the helicopter. He had three women with him. I think they were all holding champagne or something. He had three women with them. And they were all wearing like different coloured dresses. And it it looked bad. At the time, I bet people were like, whoa, what is this scene? This is so cool. Look at Bruce Wayne. You watch it now and you go, that's a big miss. That doesn't quite work. So point I'm making is everything has its sell-by date. So when it comes to body language, this is something we've been familiar with, okay? And the pictures I've got here, I just searched alpha male body language, and these are the pictures that came up. I'm not specifically targeting anybody, because I know a few of these guys are in the industry, or they do certain things, right? But it's been this for years. You know, you see this sort of thing, 
where everyone's like really trying hard to look overly cool. Obviously, that's David Gandhi, but it's that like stretched out arm stuff. It's usually worse than that. Uh, it's more like this. Without the legs being crossed, it's usually knee here, knee here. I've always explained this to you guys. I've done the body language analysis videos. I'm the most guilty of this. At the time when I was doing them, it was correct. But I think because of the way the industry's exploded in recent years and how everybody's gotten a hold of this and gone, I'm also an alpha male, high value male, watch me. And they'll all sit there like that, do the little face that they do. Cigar, whiskey. You know, because of that shit, it just doesn't really work anymore. It's almost it's almost lost its meaning. Do you know what I mean? It's like uh it's like saying to a girl, You're beautiful. And she's like, What me? If she's never had it before. And then she really blossoms, she glows up, she becomes one of the most beautiful women alive. Two thousand guys a week are telling her she's beautiful, and she's just like, Oh yeah, thank you, bye. Like, it just loses meaning. It's the same thing, it just doesn't hit the same as it used to. And I think this is what's happened to the industry. So we've got this as well, which I think this guy does some stuff. I don't know if he's got a vlog, but it's this kind of, it's rigid. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. It's really rigid. Dan Bilzerian like this. There's a whole culture of this, you know, sit, sit up straight kind of thing. It's almost like, you know, you have to sit like a wooden board, just like that. Just try, like try and look cool. Do your hardest to look as cool as you can for the next like 30 seconds and I'll take a picture. This is one of the worst examples. Like, this is bad, right? It's just... <clears throat> I think this time... Like, we're already looking at stuff like this and, like, laughing. But I think give it another 10 years and we'll look back and be like, damn, that was the cringiest era ever. And this. This is, like, the modern version now. Without the dicky bow. You know, guys, open shirt, no dicky bow. Be like champagne with a cigar. But you remember all of this, right, though, guys? This is, like, I stock YouTube thumbnails. And I'm guilty of it. I was doing it for years because it used to work, uh, you know, less so in recent years, but all of this used to work. And so I don't really do the body language analysis videos anymore because there was a time where it was very accurate. But like I said, so many people are doing it now that it's almost lost its meaning. Now, this was during a culture that was doing this. This is iStock again. This is Instagram. It was It's the Instagram era. That's what's done it. Instagram, iStock. And most specifically, like this used to bang. If you uploaded a picture like this, guy on a jet with a woman drinking champagne, you know, is you got the sunglasses, like people that used to just absolutely go. Now it's just it's terrible. And a big reason for that is Dan Bilzerian. And when he was doing it, it was cool. When he was doing it, it was great. And because he's the original, it's almost like Hugh Hefner. It still has meaning. It's like, oh, that's him, that's what he does. But now every guy and his dog has got a picture like this where he sat there in a jacuzzi or something with four women posting a picture. Everyone's posing, looking at the camera. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of lost its meaning. And I will bring this back to body language, but this is, I'm just describing the culture. This guy, I remember this guy, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy, but his name's Tom Claren. I don't think it was McLaren, but I think his name's Tom Claren. He used to take pictures like this. And I remember at the time, I was like, this guy's on another level. He's doing stuff that nobody's done. But I'm talking like six to eight years ago. A lot changes in a year now. Never mind six to eight years. You know, you have content creators now that pop up. Like HS Tiki Toki, pop up, take over the internet. A year and a half later, he's admitting he was broke and he faked everything. Like, it's just that quick. Like, things just change so quickly now. So imagine like eight years this guy's uploading pictures like this. Oh, wow. He's got the Ferrari. He's got the private jet. He's in a suit, sunglasses on. He looks like the man. Yeah, but it's been done so much now. Everyone knows it's rented. It's fake. It's not like nobody cares. Do you know what I mean? It's almost lost meaning. And I think body language is following the same suit. This kind of culture. And I've spoken to this guy before for doing projects and stuff. He's a great guy. Um, but this, he was one of the first to do it, which is why I've used his picture. Um, but this sort of thing where guys dress up in a certain outfit, walk down the street, snap some pictures up on Instagram. It's, it was a cultural thing. It was a cultural thing. It was like flamboyant. Look how great I am. Look how much I can show off. Look how nice my outfit is. Look how nice my car is. Look at my alpha male body language. Look at all the women sat around me. It's It was a staged era. That's what I would say. It was a staged era, right? Um, 
<clears throat> but I think the era of the whole alpha male body language of like stretching out as far as you can, stretching the knees out and whatnot, I think it's I think it's over. And I'll give you some examples here. But I'll just set the scene again. I think alpha male body language now has become feminine. And that's why I showed you those pictures first, because I think kind of showing off, bragging, look at me, let me get the attention. Like I'm gonna get the lime green Lamborghini. Uh, I'm going to put stickers on the side and then I'm going to sit there with nine women in a jacuzzi. I think it screams, in this era, I think it screams insecurity, I want attention. It's fraudulent. You know, all you're going to get is like 18-year-old guys following you and stuff like that. Um, I think it's kind of lost its meaning. And you look at women, right? When they're on nights out, look at the posing, you know, side on, look at my ass. Like everything is very much, look at me. Selfies. It's a woman, it's a woman thing. Always has been. Right, and I think like women look great doing it because they're women. But I think it's a feminine thing, like f like this kind of posing for a photo. Like, look at my assets. This again, like it's too. It's a lot of attention. Like I've dressed up. I've got everything on show. Get a picture of me. I want to upload it to the gram. Like it's all posy and all that stuff. Like I think, I think that's sexier than anything I've seen on there. No, it's probably still posed and set up and whatever. But it's the low effort. There's probably more effort put in, but you get what I mean. It's the kind of nonchalant nature. I've made a whole video about this on the course, actually, which is... I, well, actually, I think I did the preview on YouTube. You, I think I actually released it for free. Um, but we, I talk about a lot of that on the course. Um, but I want to get to this, this picture last, so I'm going to go through some of these. I think this is the way that the modern world's going. And the reason I've included this is because of like this new cigar era, which is nothing wrong with the cigar itself. It's the way it's being done. You see the difference between these two pictures in terms of body language. It's basically the same picture, but it's entirely different. Like even the hand positioning, the overhands, the underhand. It's just a continental way of grabbing a cigarette rather than just kind of, it's just obnoxious. There's not a lot of class. Um, and I'm sorry to say it, I've got nothing against American people. I love them. But it's uh, it's Americanization of the industry because that would be an American photo shoot as a French guy, right? And it's just everything in America, it needs to be bigger, better. How do we, how do we have more cars? How do we have more women? You know, whereas subtlety is the name of the game, but the industry has kind of gone that way. You know, you've got a podcast with, with one woman on. Oh, can we get to 20? Can we stack them in like sardines? And the whole industry has gone that way and the body language is followed where it's like, I've got my arms quite wide. I've got my arms even wider. Well, I'm going to put my arms, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast of America and I'm going to stretch my legs out so it's wider than the Grand Canyon. Like it just, it go, everybody goes, oh, how do I look even more alpha? You know, I'm more alpha than you. It's just, I think it's got silly and I think we're about to move into a new era. I think the next, I don't know how many years, but I think it's going to be kind of the generation of subtlety. You can see it here. I think it's going to be subtle things like legs crossed. You know, I've always said to you guys, don't cross your legs. I think that's actually coming back because it's so obvious now that people are like, it's the try hard. That's what you don't want. You don't want to give off the image of I'm trying really hard. Here's a shirtless selfie of me looking jacked. Here's me with my legs as wide as possible, arms as wide as possible, cigar in one hand, whiskey in the other. It's just like, we know what you're doing. Like Nobody sits like that. That's a bit much. Do you know what I mean? It might be a natural way to sit as a man with your legs a little bit wider, but I think this more European way is coming in. I think body language is changing completely. Is that the same picture? No, it's different. Okay, good. So this guy, let's go back to this guy in a minute because I want to do it by person. Again, Vincent Cassell. Let's do the comparison. I'm not encouraging you guys to smoke, but do you see the difference? Just obnoxious and weird. Like, that's just some reason that works. It's just basically the same pictures, like, but it's just this one works, that one doesn't. There's like a subtlety to everything. This is too much. Legs are wide. The expensive chair, champagne, cigar, dicky bow. It's just like, pick one or two. Pick one or two. The final picture will explain it perfectly. I want to spend my most time on that. Uh, but this is the guy from... Hell is that picture? Okay, let's put that in there. 
Like something like this. People don't understand that how cool that is. I think I think this like subtlety era is about to come in. Um but in terms of body language now, like I would always tell you guys not to like lean on something like that, like sit up straight, arms wide, whatnot. This is almost becoming cooler because it's like low effort. But I think because one thing's been overplayed so much and people are doing it so much, it's almost like I'm tired of it, I'm bored of it. I see this so often. Oh, another guy sat with a cigar with his like arms stretched out with an open button shirt trying to act cool. Oh, you're on a private jet. Wow. Like, because we don't know that you can rent them for cheap now. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, I think so many things have been exposed now. People are just like, oh yeah, you can, you can fake being a multimillionaire as long as you've got about 50 grand in the bank. So I think it's almost lost meaning because people have got smarter. They've looked at it and they've gone, oh, okay. You know, this, like certain guys that frame themselves on the internet as being like alpha males and then you see them box or something you go, okay, may, like, maybe not, like, that doesn't, that doesn't actually check out, so I think a lot of this, like, this, I'm trying too hard, uh, I'm trying to look like an alpha male, I'm staring at the camera intently, that whole thing's gone, and I think outside of social media in your own lives, when you're just living day to day, I think add in more subtlety, I'll give you an example, me and Alex were filming the other day, and I was walking down the street, and he said to me, Put your hands back in your pocket like you were before we put the camera on. He was like, that looks so much more natural. So I did. I just I had this coat on. I put my hands back in my pockets and I just strolled. I just strolled casually like I would if I was going for a walk and the footage was way better. You know, it just felt more organic. It felt natural. It's like, yeah, who would walk kind of like McGregor, you know, just looking straight forwards or who would try and go, okay, I'm going to look like the biggest alpha male possible here. I'm on camera. I know I'm on camera. It's stiff and robotic. Whereas it was a cold day and I was like, yeah, I would have my hands in my pockets. So it was kind of just walking down the road as normal. And I think that subtlety is coming back in. And I think anybody who goes, I'm going to do the whole alpha male thing in day-to-day life with the changes that have happened, and this includes my body language videos, okay, so I'm not looking at the whole industry, I'm including myself at the top of that list, in this new era now, I'm completely wrong, now there's still subtleties, like eye contact, calmness, things like that, you know, having a controlled nature, the tonality, and whatnot, they'll always stay in place, I'm just talking about you know, there's certain cues now. There's Remember I told you guys before, there's like a high-value man uniform. Well, I think there's like high-value man triggers, kind of like the body language, where it's, I've been told an alpha male stretches out and takes up as much space as possible. Well, yeah, correct. But once you know it and you do it on purpose, it loses its effect. And I think you can see when one's fake and one's natural. Like if a guy was just kind of, lounging around on a beach chair and he looked enormous it would be like oh that guy's an alpha male he looks huge but I think when somebody's just like sat on a sofa spread out for a photo shoot it's like I think it's like okay this is a bit much you've gone a little bit too far on this one so you know I would never tell you guys to do this but some reason it's starting to look a little bit cooler because I know it's organic and the top companies like I think he was doing a photo shoot with Guess this is the guy from 365 days, right? The Moroni guy. Um, In like magazines like GQ and Guess and stuff like that, they're starting to go this way. And I think they're realizing the same thing that I've realized. He's doing it again. You know, he's he's even got the scar there, but he's like lent. I would always tell you guys, stand up straight back in the day, but it's almost become cooler now. It's just ashtray, cigar, newspaper. The newspaper's the main attention. He's just holding it to the side whilst leaning. And even th- like I, I, even this is a bit, mm, do you know what I mean? But it's just the way it's done more subtle, subtly than the way that a lot more people are doing it. I don't think you should be looking at the camera. Um, but you can definitely see that body language is changing. Same again, look, lean into the side, putting one hand on his arm, like that's stuff I tell you guys never to do, but it's almost, and that's Esquire, might have been a few years ago, but it's almost like this, right, like wide kind of legs, and then here, some kind of what would be described as like more beta male stuff, and what I'm getting at, and this picture will describe it perfectly, I think this is 
the future of body language, this picture alone. I could have done a whole video just on this picture. Um, I think it's not doing too much. I think that's the key to the future of body language. I think, you know, if you're dressed extremely well and you're a big guy and then you also do like the kind of Conor McGregor walk, chin parallel to the ground and you're swinging your arms and you're trying to look tough. There was an era where it was like, that really works. I think now it would be like, it's just, it's too much. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like, you, you remember when they started inventing like the muscle car and then they just became ridiculous. It was like a muscle car on top of a muscle car with Dominic Toretto's big grill on the front. Like it just got stupid, right? And then they started making cars bigger. And before you knew where we are, we were at a Hummer. And then they became corny. And you remember, like, we had the executive car. Then we had cars that were a little bit bigger. And we had, like, Rolls Royces and stuff. Obviously, they were a lot sooner, but they became quite mainstream. And then people went, do you know what you need? A limo. And then it became a stretch limo. And then it became a super stretch limo. And then people were just like, oh, limos, limos are corny. I can't like if you were seen in a limo now, which a lot of old guys still are, uh, and a lot of like screaming girls that are going on a hen do, people go, Oh, that's cringe. Who still rents a limo? Do you know what I mean? Like limos just aren't a thing. And they'll come back in. They'll come back in in the future, or a version of them will or whatnot. But limos used to be like a whole thing, right? If you had a limo, if you were driving around in the back of one, you were the man. You saw like you saw a limo pull up and you thought that's an A list star, that's gonna be a superstar. Who is that? Who's this billionaire getting out of a limo? It just doesn't happen anymore. And I think the same thing has just happened with body language. You know, you're doing too much all at once. It's just, it's the art of the subtlety. And this is exactly what this picture displays, okay? So, handsome guy who's dressed well, who's in shape. Tick. Beautiful location. Tick. Beautiful woman. Tick. But then he's got the legs crossed. Okay? He sat down, she stood up. He's got his arm around her, tick. Some real strong body language there, you know? She's clearly his. She's coming into his space. She's almost saying, I need to get my lines back out when I used to draw the lines. But she's coming into his space. He doesn't have to move. He sat back relaxed in his chair and she's coming into his space. So he's obviously the dominant one. But she's the one stood up and he's the one sat down. Which in traditional body language, the way I explained to you guys he'd maybe be standing over her. Do you know what I mean? He'd be the big tall guy standing over dominant position. I think that's gone too far now. I, I, I just don't, I, I think it would be, here's what a lot of people in this kind of industry would do now in terms of the men's industry, the manosphere. They would have her sat down looking pretty, him stood up with like two hands over, probably over the back of like this chair or this table, like overlooking her, like overpowering. That wouldn't be a camera. That would be like, that would be like a ace of spades bottle. Um, he'd have the champagne glasses. He'd be sat there looking at the camera. Um, she'd be half naked. So she wouldn't be wearing stuff like this. She'd be like half naked. Maybe a bikini sat here. This would be Dubai in the background. His legs would be spread. Um, you know, and he'd be staring straight at the camera and stuff like that. And he'd probably be wearing a ton of jewellery. He'd have, like, expensive stuff on the table as well. Maybe there'd be a car in the background. And it's just, like, it's, it's too much. It's, it's just way too much. You're doing everything at once. You know, like, I'm going to buy a pinky ring. And I'm going to buy a ring for my index finger. And I'm going to get two on the other side. Oh, I think those thumb rings look really cool. I'm going to buy a necklace and get two earrings. And get a second necklace, actually. I might get a crown, a pimp cup, a cane. I'm going to get crystals on my boots. I'm going to get crystals on my dog's collar. Do, do you know what I mean, guys? Like, it's it's that sort of shit. Where you see it and you go, eh, you've overdone it. Like, you see a naturally beautiful woman and you think she's stunning. She goes and gets her lips done and you think... <clears throat> that's annoying. You were so hot before, but you're like, okay, I can, I can overlook it. You still look beautiful. You, like, it is what it is. Then she gets her boobs done and you're going, okay, like this is turning into something different now. This isn't the natural beautiful woman that I wanted. Maybe she gets a BBL. Maybe she gets something else. Maybe she 
get some cheek filler, some jawline filler. Maybe she starts putting on twice the makeup she used to because some reason now trans makeup is what women go after. Then she shaves off her eyebrows or gets them laser like taken off and like draws them on and has those really thin, ugly eyebrows that women have now. And it's just like, what have you done? It was so subtly beautiful. It was so this. It was just so relaxed, just naturally beautiful woman, just chilling, not really doing too much. Like that turns guys on. This is the same thing, I think. I think in terms of just, you know, moving forward of who you want to frame yourself as, as a man in the future. And I just think your day-to-day life, like how you go about your business. I think being the loudest guy in the room. The I've told you guys before about the lime green Ferrari playing certain loud music and then you put a loud exhaust on it and you put I don't know if you can do this anymore but remember when people used to have like neon lights and then you get out of the car and you're wearing red bottoms and you've got an ace of spades bottle and you park outside the club and when you go in the club you get bottle service and you're posting about it all night on Instagram you just look like a dick you just look like somebody from the rich kids of Instagram which is just not you know I I just think it's classless. It's that old quote where it's like, you can have as much money as you want. You can buy as much stuff as you want, but you can't buy class. And this picture here speaks volumes to me. If you just want a reminder, like screenshot this, just come back to this picture. Because I think this is the subtlety that moving forward is going to work. Like he's got great stuff going on. Handsome guy, well-dressed, beautiful location, beautiful woman. And, you know, his arm around the woman... There's a few plus points there, but then it's like the legs are crossed. She's looking down at him. It's like, it's a good balance. It seems natural. It seems organic. I feel as though if he was like looking down at her and his legs were as wide as possible, his arms were as wide as possible. Like I've been guilty of telling you guys to do um, through like Bjorn Ironside sat in his chair and stuff. I, th- I think I worked in a movie. I think there was an era. I think it was like an alpha male era. I think, I think the world's, I think the world's tired tired of it. I, and I think the men, especially in this industry, I think we've wised up to it because everybody's getting older step by like year by year. And I think a lot of guys are looking at it now and going, yeah, you look, you look cool. Great picture. But I've seen this before and I know it's bullshit. Like I know this was staged. I know how much work went into this. I've seen a lot of pictures like this. What are you doing? You know, you're making this all about you you're, you're kind of just saying like, like everybody look at me, look how great I am. There's not a lot of masculinity there. Do you know what I mean? I think it's, I think that's a feminine move. I think asking for attention and trying to show off a feminine features, I don't think it's very masculine. Whereas I think, you know, being, let's say if you were like six foot four, you're a real powerful guy and you're opening the door for your woman. You're opening the car door and it's like, oh, that guy, you know, that guy's big and powerful. He's the alpha male and he's doing something nice. I, th- I think that's the way the world's going. And I think in terms of body language, instead of like overdoing everything, having the legs out wide, arms out wide, what else can we add? What else can we add? What else can we add? I think just very organic, relaxed, natural, carefree. I think that's going to be the future. Now, I'm not telling you to sit with your legs crossed, arms in and look timid. That's never going to work. But I think being calm. You know, people will say stoic, aloof, whatnot. I I just think carefree, calm. I just think just doing what you want to do in the moment and just being very relaxed. I think things like moving slowly, you know, being like you can have a a deep voice, but almost relatively like soft spoken where you're just kind of relaxed. You know, I think that is going to be the future because everything else is see-through. It's just, you know, like I can see when somebody posts a picture now, I'm like, it's it's like a bloke posting a picture and I'm just like, that's something that I'd expect women to do. Oh, that's so staged. Fuck, that must have taken you half a day to do. You know, it's what like the effort you've taken to set all that up. Just outrageous. And I, like, guys, I'm not talking about just social media and stuff like that. I am talking about your day-to-day life. I'm talking about that high value man uniform and the persona and the the way that you're going to walk and talk and you know the way you're going to sit the pictures you're going to take which obviously is social media and whatever but you know i 
I, I do... I, I see things early as my greatest strength. You know, I had it with Solana. I've had it with this industry multiple times. I've got multiple businesses where I've done that. I've got a business at the moment I can't tell you guys about yet, but it's going to be huge. So it's going to be a members club. So be ready, guys. Keep your ear to the ground on this one. This is going to be massive. Um, I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to this industry. We're going big with it. When you see what we're going to do, you're going to be like, how? How have you done that? And how, like, how are we get benefiting that much? It's, it's crazy. We've got some serious players that want to get involved in this too. Like multi, multi millionaires, three, four, maybe five of us. So it's going to be fun. Um, but I think this is the way that I think this is the way it's going to go in the future. I think everything else has become a little bit cringe. Um, and I think this is the future of body language, guys. So if you're moving through your life and you're trying to, you know, like I said, show off and go down this route still and, you know, post that and post that and do this kind of setup stuff and you're going to sit on a park bench in real life, because this is what this is mainly about, how you can operate in real life. You're going to sit on a park bench in real life like this and just sit there and just pose and not look at anybody and just think life's a movie or everything's about you. Oh, shit. You're going to think, you know, somebody like this is just going to pass you by. Because like, this is real. This is organic. This is natural. Um, and don't get me wrong. There was a time and a place for this. Like, there was a time and a place where this was really strong. It was really working. But, you know, the pinstripe shirt, it tells you everything about that era. You know, the alpha male stuff, beta male stuff, I've been reading about it for like 15 years. Uh, and before that, about 10 years before that, people were really hammering on about it. But it was in blogs. It was different. So you don't really, you can't, you can't really like repost the video. Do you know what I mean? It was all written. Uh, it was the PUA stuff and whatnot. With the exposure of the internet and how much we can see and how much we can learn, I think people are smarter than ever. And you can just read into this now. Like when I see a guy doing all of these cues, these alpha male cues, I can see it and I'm like, you're trying too hard. It's embarrassing. You're trying too hard. Just relax. Just be carefree. Just do what you want to do. You know, just instead of being sat there with like, it's nothing wrong with a whiskey and a cigar, but I think if you had a newspaper and you had like an oat milk latte, and you were just like sipping on that, just reading the newspaper, just going through stuff during, you know, whilst having a discussion with a friend and somebody filmed that. I think that would be like, and look, you don't even have to film it. If that was just what you were doing in a nice environment with a great background, something like that, I think that hits about 50 times harder now. And I've done very well off body language. I've taught you guys for years the best body language stuff and the core fundamentals still exist. I will not get rid of tonality. I will not get rid of certain, bring your words down at the end because it still makes you assertive, right? I'm not going to go, okay then guys, I'm not going to start speaking like that. That's, like, that still stands. I think things like not looking at the ground. I think when you hold eye contact, not like looking down and whatever, like looking to the side, looking away and whatnot. I think just holding eye contact and having a chat with somebody. I think moving slowly, rather than being all, you know, erratic and flicking your hands around and being all panicky and, you know, walking into a room and just looking around, scanning. Oh, she's nice, she's nice, she's nice. Oh, what an ass. Like, that, all the fundamentals still exist. But I think it's this pretending. It's, it's got to go. Because everybody's doing it now. A lot of people have learned, like, I talk to people now and they go, have you ever heard of mewing? I'm like, yeah, like I was writing blogs on this 10 years ago. People, like the average person now knows about this stuff. You know, everybody talks to you goes, oh, are you talking about mewing? Are you talking about that thing that I saw on TikTok? People are exposed to stuff now. You know, if I if I got a million views on a body language video, and then there's other accounts that have popped up that, since then who are like, how to act like James Bond or how to, how to be f as fearsome as Tommy Shelby. And the guy's got like 20 million views on some of these videos. And then they go viral on TikTok and... Everybody wants our job now. Like you you ask me, Hamza, Jack, you ask any of us in this industry, everybody wants our job. Like every guy and their dog is trying to do this. Like everybody you talk to is like, I was thinking of starting my own and it, it's, it, it looks fun. From the outside, it looks fun. Everyone's like, look at the life that these guys are living. 
So, you know, and Tate was a massive factor of that. He's got millions of guys and Iman Gadzi, like, oh, we all want to, we all want to be you. And I can see the appeal. You know, if you, if I was 18, I'd be on that as well. But I'm telling you as an early warning, a lot of this is, is about to fizzle out. Because if I were to put these two side by side, what could I choose? What was very iconic? Uh, that was kind of iconic, but that was kind of early day eras. So if I were to put these two together, this was when I was growing up. It was very much this stuff. I, I, I'm not sure about the leg on there. I think it's trying to be aloof. But, you know, this was very much like early day, I'm an alpha male PUA. Look at the difference. Do you know what I mean? Like who, I know the woman acts as validation, but even if he was just reading the paper there, like it's a different level, isn't it? It's a different caliber. But even if you were to compare it to this, now you guys might think differently to me because I'm 31, I'm a lot older. So it's not to say I think better, it's my mind is different. But if I'm thinking this way, I'm sure you guys will too. And, you know, society is ruled by people who, met the men who are older, I'm talking like 30 plus, they're the decision makers, they're the showrunners, and women are just mentally more mature. So like if you're acting a certain way, you're just going to look like a bit of a dick. And I think make this change beforehand. Like I said, the fundamentals of body language, keeping your chin parallel to the ground, tonality, eye contact, bringing your tonality down at the end of sentences, you know, being assertive. I think that's all going to still resonate. It always will because they're, they're very natural things. But I think these added extras, it's like science has found that if you stand with your feet at a 45 degree angle in the Superman pose and it's like, that doesn't look real. It it just doesn't, it, it doesn't look like a human. And this is weird because it's like, what, what are you, what have you done? Like, does he look cool? Does it look great? Yeah. But it's like, what, how have you took this? The plane door's not open. The wheel stops are in place. So, you know, have you just got out of it? No. So, are you getting on it? No, I don't know. Have you parked up? Like, what? I just don't know what's going on. Do you know what I mean? And you look at it and you go, yeah, that's cool. Like, if, if somebody sent me this picture of, like, if he was my friend and I saw it pop up on my timeline, I'd go, yeah, great, but I just don't really know what it's achieving. If it was for, like, a campaign, if it was an ad campaign and he was a professional model and he was holding, like an expensive bag, and that bag company, if it was like a travel company who were luxury and like bricks or something, and they were like, we need you to do a commercial for us, and that's what it was for, it's a sponsor. Oh, I get it. I understand now why you're looking this cool and you're doing something, that, like, I get it. Oh, it's for a movie trailer? I completely understand. But when it's just people's day-to-day -day lives where they're trying to make out that this is how they're living, I think the world can see through it now. And when it comes to the body language of, I'm going to sit and stand as wide as I can. Champagne, cigar. It's just like, mate, you're trying too hard. It's a woman with too much makeup on. It's a woman wearing six-inch heels with too much makeup on and fake lips, doing duck lips in a photo. So it is too much. Nobody wants to see it. It's the same, and like I said, it's the same with men. Like, this is the point I think it should get to now. That's that's some of the best body language for modern era and this new change that I've ever seen. I think that sets the trend for what we're going to have moving forward. I think it's going to convert over now to very European. Because you can have the clothes, you can have the body, you can have the looks. How much more do you want? It's almost like, remember when Eminem said, oh, what did he say? He said, when you've achieved so much success or you've, you're, you're so good that when you, talk, when, you bra when you talk about it, it's just bragging or something like that. It was all the pieces of that. Just put it together, guys. Somebody will find the lyrics and post it. But it was almost like, you just sound cocky. You can't even, you're so good and you've accomplished so much. You can't even talk about it anymore because when you do, you just sound cocky. He said something along those lines. <laughs> I think it's going to be, the, it's the same in body language. It's like you're a handsome guy you're in shape, you're well-dressed, that's enough. You don't have to do anything else. Oh, but then he's wearing the red bottoms and he's got the ace of spades and he's sat with his legs wide and his arms wide, he's got a cigar and it's like, you've already won. You're a handsome, in shape, well-dressed guy, you've already won. 
you know, like with subtle colors, subtle tones, like he's not really doing too much. Like he's just dressed smart, smart, casual, looks great. You know, he's letting the woman have the power position over him. He's crossed his legs. That's actually closed body language. If it was the other leg, it would be open, but that's actually closed body language, which just shows you he's just really relaxed. You know, they've probably done it for framing purposes because he wouldn't be able to fit it in the table and whatever because it's a photo shoot. But that is actually closed. He's actually shut off to that woman, but his upper body's open. He's looking down at her. It's, it's like a good balance of... It's not too much. It's not too dominant. It's not too too far one way. It's like a real good blend where you go, that is subtly done. You know? It's good, it's good body language up top. It's great body language here. It's just very relaxed here. Clothes, which would be considered bad if it was like in terms of attraction, but very good strong eye contact. It's organic. It's natural. I think this is the future of body language. I think caring less but keeping those core fundamentals is naturally who you are. I think that's going to be the blend moving forward, guys. Maybe maybe I do something else on this. Maybe I do some real world examples. But um, I think for your own lives, I think if you want to benefit off this and not look corny and cringe and look back in 10 years time and go, shit, that's embarrassing. Did I really post that? Or did I used to really walk that way? Because I'm doing it now. I'm looking back and I'm like, I did. Yeah, I did do that. And what I'm doing now is just a lot more relaxed with, like I said, the core fundamentals built in where I, I do certain things naturally, but caring less. Do you know, what? it'd be really comfortable if I cross my legs or put, you know, when you put like your shoe over your knee, it kind of like your ankle on your knee and it goes out in like a V shape, like a figure four from Ric Flair. Um, that, you know, I want to sit like that. I feel really relaxed. I want to sit like that. I just want to sip my drink. I want to chill. I don't want to have to like spread out as far as I can. Like this is enough that I think that's going to win moving forwards, especially in adult life. And adult life is the majority of your life. So if you're 18 right now and you're like, what would benefit me moving forwards? It's always best to go for what your future is going to be because that's the biggest chunk. You know, adult life for me is like, like proper life is like 25 to like, 60 then after that you, you know it's really old it doesn't matter what you do but like 25 to 60 and if I'm telling you that that's gonna resonate in this is gonna resonate in that age bracket it's a big age bracket but that is gonna resonate then start doing it now because I think this like alpha male stuff is is too is too on the nose it's become so obvious it's like yeah, it's overplayed now. It's overdone. It happens in music. 50 Cent was on about um, P. Diddy. He was like, you can't hear the music anymore. He was like, you can't hear a good beat. You can't hear a hit. And I think Charlemagne was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, not anymore. He was like, he used to, but every dog has his day. He was like, you can't hear it anymore. It's not his era. It's what's happening here. You know, the alpha males of old, the guys with certain levels of body language, you look at it now and you're like, Oh yeah, it's kind of cringe. Like I said, in the dark night, the scene when he's getting off the plane or the helicopter, I was like, oh, that's really bad. That looks terrible. Well, the same thing is going to happen. I don't want you guys to be like stuck in the mud and behind the times and like doing something that is about probably fire. It's, it's probably like three years out of date already, maybe two, because of the explosion of the manosphere on TikTok. You know, because of how big and how quickly the tapes exploded and then the trickle down effect and all the clones that have popped up of them which is a compliment that has now led to this culture which has actually gone the other way which has made it cringe which is equated to subtle body language not beta male but subtle body language more relaxed and composed body language becoming the optimum that's the only way I could sum it up